Do not buy a game on day one if you can avoid it unless you are a really big fan of the set game. Uh, and uh, here I'm going to talk about Starfield. So I said before, before it came out a long time ago, do not buy Starfield on day one because like uh, Elder Scroll, it wasn't perfect on day one. It took a while to get as, as good as it is even right now, right? And Starfield, since it came out, I couldn't enjoy it for several reasons. I got it on the Game Pass, so I don't know if my the fact that I'm playing on the cloud was diminishing the render and the lip sync was all over the place and the experience was not good. Probably my card, which was a bit busted, didn't really help. And there was a lot of things, but mainly, even though some quests were fun, the game really felt dated and not finished, or at least not polished. It really felt it came out bare bones to let the, the modders finish the job. And I, tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't feel that modders really jumped out on it yet. I don't even know if they do have the things as a modder's patch or a modder kit to actually play with the game. So I don't know if it was released. In any case, since it came out last September, every month, right, you have some patch, which is normal. You have patch for every game. And they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And with this update 1.10.31, they hit the mark, right? They made 507 changes in total. Most of them being extreme minor, like a thing, uh, they move this uh, flower pot from here to here because it's more feng shui, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but they made some, some, let's say, comprehensive revisions to the game. It's a patch which came out, which was two weeks in beta testing, and it's now released for me today, 19th of March. So for you guys, it was yesterday. And uh, yes, this game, it's finally starting to get a bit fuller or the definitive version of a game coming out last September is coming out right now. And they are still changing things like a UI tweak with a scanner. You can now open doors and harvest. Plenty of little things. There's 507 changes. I'm not going to list them all. Just go check on the, on the Bethesda website to see what changed or straighten stuff in the file. But yeah, that's how it is. Again, don't buy games on day one. That's my everyday advice. And if you want to play Starfield, wait another six months. Because as you see, there's really big, heavy patches coming out. And when a patch is that heavy, patches itself come its, with its fair share of bugs, right? So before this game is really final and you're going to really enjoy it, just wait another six months, maybe a year, and you will see in the Steam sales in six months from now. Like right now, so you have Starfield on sales right now with the uh, spring sales. It will be even cheaper in, uh, in six months or a year. So take your time. This game really needs some polish and it's going to be fun eventually, especially that they are doing a lot of quality of life improvement, like auto saves when you are taking your ship, moving it from location to location, moving from location to location on, on uh, one uh, planet. Then you have uh, auto saves, which were not there before. Lots of quality of life improvement and uh, this game eventually will be good. Same as I said before, uh, I know that uh, Adam bought uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 ahead of time. I hope it's going to be okay. At least the character creation stuff is excellent. I, I played with it as well. It's really fun. I hope that the game is as good as the character creation stuff. 